My name is Navid Ahmad. Today I am here to present a seminar on DNA Microarray Technology. I done this seminar under the guidance of Dr. Nagraj sir. Let's move on to the introduction. All living organism contain a DNA, a molecule that encodes all the information required for the development and functioning of an organism. It is important to know the information encoded in the DNA and understanding how such simple molecule can give rise to a amazing biological diversity of life. Microarray provide an unpredictable view into the biology of the DNA and thus reach a way to examine the living system. DNA microarray uses 2 million of different probes fixed on the solid surface. DNA microarray is an orderly arrangement of thousands of identified sequenced gene printed on a impermeable solid support, usually glued silicon chip or nylon membrane. DNA microarray is a technology is also known as DNA array, DNA chip or a biochip. Usually a single DNA microarray slide or a chip may contain thousands of spot, each spot representing a single gene and collectively the entire genome of an organism. An experiment with a single DNA chip can provide information of thousands of gene simultaneously. Now we move on to the history. The concept of DNA microarray began in mid 1980s. The microarray evolved from the southern blotting technique. The Mox Oxena was proclaimed as the father of microarray technology. The microarray is currently used to analyze many different systems including classification of microbes, human microbial pathogen, cellular responses to the pathogen, drug discovery and toxic exposure, SNP etc. Uh, here the principle of DNA microarray technology. The core principle behind the micro technology is the hybridization. Uh, we all know hybridization is a phenomenon in which a single stranded DNA molecule annealed to a complementary DNA to form double stranded DNA. In the GIF, we have observed that the, the compl uh, complementation of two DNA strands, that is, single stranded DNA to form a double stranded DNA. Uh, we have observed that uh, C5 and uh, C5. 3 that is cyanide 5 and cyanide 3 are the fluorescent dye which are uh, labeled on the top of the DNA. At least two samples are hybridized to achieve. Now we move on to the types of DNA microarray technology. There are two types of DNA microarray technology that is glass DNA microarray technology and oligonucleotide microarray technology. The first one is glass DNA microarray technology. The glass DNA microarray technology was the first type of DNA microarray technology. As the name suggests, the glass DNA microarray is an especially manufactured by using a glass slide. It is produced by using a robotic device, which deposits a nanoliter of DNA that is 50 to 150 micrometer in diameter in a serial order with a distance of approximately 200 to 250 micrometer. Here the glass DNA microarray contain 10,000 spot in an area of just 3.6 cm square. Next one is oligonucleotide microarray technology. The oligonucleotide microarray technology are uh, synthesized on a chip, so they are called gene chip. In oligonucleotide microarray, it is there are consecutive addition of adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine, nucleotide to appropriate gene sequence on the array to form thousands of 25 mer of oligonucleotide in parallel. Presently, the commercial version of gene chip hold up to 5 lakhs probe per site in 1.28 cm square chip area. Now, the steps involved in the DNA microarray technology. There are four steps involved in the DNA microarray technology. Sample preparation and labeling, array hybridization, washing and image acquisition and data analysis. First one is sample preparation and labeling. It involves the maintenance of the cultural media, uh, obtaining of the mRNA from the cultural media, reverse transcription to produce cDNA from the uh, mRNA, and then uh, labeling of the cDNA. The sample preparation start by isolating a total RNA content containing messenger RNA. This step is crucial because overall success of the DNA microarray experiment depends on the quality of the DNA RNA obtained. mRNA is a conversion of mRNA is converted to uh, DNA 
by using a reverse transcriptase that is uh, to form cdna each cdna are labeled by using fluorescent dye the next one is uh, array hybridization uh, we know the hybridization is a process of joining of two complementary strand of dna to form double stranded molecule here labeled cdna are mixed together completely hybridized against cdna molecule spotted on a glass slide the next step is washing the slides are washed after hybridization first to remove the labeled cdna that does not hybridize on the other array second to reduce the cross hybridization the final step is image acquisition and data analysis it is the final step in the microtechnology here the slides are dried and placed on the laser scanner to determine how much labeled uh, cdna are bound to the each target spot laser acquisition of the incorporated target yield and emission with a characteristic spectra which is measured using a confocal lens microscope uh, these are the overall steps the normal cells are cultured in a cell culture media the mrna is obtained from that and uh, which are uh, uh, modified into dna by a reverse transcriptase enzyme and they are placed on the dna chip or a glass slide the hybridized dna are scanned uh, it color shows a four type of the color there is non color yellow colored and uh, green color and uh, red color uh, the yellow color shows uh, the both genes are present on the cells green color shows only the normal cell dna present red color shows only the cancer cell dna present the non color shows uh, no dna is present on that spot the applications of dna macro technology there are many applications in the dna macro technology uh, first one is the gene discovery this is diagnosis drug discovery toxicological research gene expression and genotyping the gene discovery the dna macro technology helps in the identification of a new gene that uh, uh, to know about their function expression level under different conditions in the disease diagnosis this technology helps the researchers to learn more about their different diseases such as heart diseases infectious diseases like uh, cancer the drug discovery the dna macro technology has extensive application in the pharmacogenomics but in the toxicological research the rapid platform for the researchers to impact of toxin on the cell and their passing into their progeny uh, the gene expression the dna macro is widely used for the study of dna uh, gene expression uh, in the early uh, uh, year there are many genes uh, which has to be identified by uh, different techniques but uh, the gene expression study by using mr uh, micro technology become easy uh, by using micro uh, technology a set of 17 genes were identified with a proof prognosis in the breast cancer the finally the snps micro ray can also be used for the developing of cost effective chip for the detection and screening of many snps and the advantages and disadvantages of dna macro ray technology it provide uh, advantages it provide data for thousands of genes it is fast and easy to obtain a result and uh, one experiment instead of many a uh, huge closer to discovering a cure or discovering curves for the disease and cancer different parts of the dna can be used to study the gene expression the disadvantages uh, the chip uh, are very expensive to create the production of too many result at a time requires long term an, uh, time for the analysis which is quite complex in the nature the biggest disadvantages is if they have don't have long shelf life finally some of my topic dna microarray is a collectively it is a collection of microscopic dna spot attached to the solid surface the concept of dna microarray began in the mid 1980s it is evolved from the southern blotting technique The Mox Oxena is proclaimed as the father of DNA macro ray technology. Its application includes uh, gene discovery, disease diagnosis, and uh, toxicological research, etc. These are my references. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.